Rhino Linings recognizes the world's number one brand spray-on bed liner, offers applicators an unmatched combination of award-winning products, continuous lead generation, and brand leadership. With Rhino Linings' strong brand presence, nationwide warranty, and range of top-performing product options, you're equipped to meet the demands of any customer. Rhino Linings' high-performing products bond to virtually any surface are easy to apply, dry fast and are environmentally safe with no VOCs or CFCs. By following the techniques demonstrated in this video, you're helping customers enjoy the benefits of one of the longest lasting bed liners available. In this video, you'll learn how to select the proper tools and equipment, mask and prep the vehicle, and apply Rhino linings onto the truck bed. Tools and Equipment Proper tools and equipment, in addition to a well-trained technician, will ensure a high-quality finished product. Let's take a look at the tools you'll need. A nylon cut brush on a multi-speed polisher is important to prepare the factory painted surface for the Rhino Linings product to properly bond. 60 grit sandpaper is ideal to sand all areas in the corners and near wire tape lines where the cut brush can't reach. Masking paper and masking tape are necessary for covering areas of the truck that do not get coated with the Rhino Linings protective coating. Wire trim tape is essential for defining clean straight lines on the truck where the exposed factory paint and the Rhino Linings protective coating meet. Denatured alcohol or tack cloth is important to remove dust and debris from the vehicle. Please do not smoke or use solvents near an open flame. A dual cartridge respirator is essential to wear when exposed to fine sanding dust and solvents. Now that we've gone over the proper tools, let's get started masking the vehicle. Masking the tailgate. Proper and thorough masking of the vehicle is one of the most important steps of creating a high quality appearance for your Rhino Linings bed liner. First, remove the vehicle's tailgate by partially opening it. Hold it open while unhooking both cables. Carefully slide the tailgate off its hinges. Once removed, gently set the tailgate in a safe place away from the spraying area. It is very important to remove the tailgate access cover before spraying. This will enable the latch and locking mechanism to be serviced if it's ever required in the future. Remove the screws that secure the panel to the tailgate. Pull off the access cover and set it aside. Using denatured alcohol or a degreaser, thoroughly wipe down and remove any debris from the outer perimeter of the tailgate where the wire tape will be applied, as the technician is doing here. Depending on the truck manufacturer, masking of existing rail caps may be necessary prior to applying wire tape, as the technician is doing here. Use wire tape to create a straight line around the tailgate perimeter that has just been cleaned. This will create the edge where the Rhino Linings bed liner and the factory paint meet. Take your time here. This is a crucial step in the vehicle masking process and the key to a high quality finished product. Notice how the technician uses a snipping tool to create small relief cuts in the wire tape to allow it to work well around curves and corners. Continue around the entire tailgate until complete. It's important to leave a six inch extra tail of wire tape so it can be easily grabbed after spraying. Peel the backing off the wire tape that was just applied. Now you must mask the surfaces that are to remain unsprayed. Notice how the technician uses small pieces of masking tape to cover exposed hardware and latches to ensure that no overspray contacts the mechanisms. It's also helpful to use masking tape to tuck and secure the cables on the sides of the tailgate where they are out of the way. This will allow for greater adhesion for your masking tape and masking paper. Continually inspect the masking tape of the tailgate to ensure a tight seal. Begin using the masking tape and masking paper to thoroughly mask off the tailgate as it is to be sprayed. Be careful to create a tight seal to ensure no rhino linings material gets through the masking and to avoid overspray. Turn the tailgate over and finish the masking process. You are now ready to begin masking the truck bed. Masking the truck bed. Begin by removing any tie downs, bed bolts, or any other hardware located inside the truck bed. Then, as you did with the tailgate, Use denatured alcohol or degreaser to thoroughly wipe down and remove any debris from the outer perimeter of the truck bed where the wire tape will be applied. Continue around the entire truck bed. 
Use a clean, large plastic to cover the vehicle and ensure there is no overspray on the vehicle. Mask off the rear of the cab where it meets the front of the bed. This is a simple precaution for keeping the cab clean. Again, depending on the truck manufacturer, masking of existing rail caps may be necessary prior to applying wire tape as the technician is doing here. Then, use wire tape to create a straight line around the truck bed perimeter that has just been cleaned. Again, this will create the edge where the Rhino Linings bed liner and the factory paint meet. The snipping tool is extremely important here to create smooth and uniform curves and corners. The tailgate opening is very intricate, so watch closely how the technician follows the contours of the truck bed with the wire tape. Continue snipping the wire tape around the corners until the entire truck bed is complete. Again, remember to leave a six inch tail of wire tape. Peel the backing off the wire tape that was just applied. Use masking tape and masking paper to finish masking off the truck bed as you did with the tailgate. Drape and tape clean plastic over any exposed truck surface. Make sure you tuck the plastic underneath the truck. Be careful to create a tight seal to ensure no rhino linings material get through the masking and to avoid overspray. Once the truck bed is completely masked, you are now ready to begin prepping the truck bed. Prepping the truck bed and tailgate. Before prepping the vehicle, make sure to wear the appropriate safety items. Safety glasses with side shields, work gloves, and NIOSH approved particulate mask is necessary. Prepping the vehicle is one of the most important steps to creating a durable and long-lasting Rhino lining truck bed liner. Using the multi-speed polisher along with a nylon cut brush, begin scuffing the entire bed in uniform manner. You may also choose to use 80 grit sandpaper for this process. Make sure to be very thorough on the bed floor as well as the bed walls. Notice how the technician manipulates a sander to get all the contours in the bed sanded. This ensures that the Rhino lining's material adheres to the entire truck bed. Do not miss any areas. Be extremely careful to hand sand areas that are difficult to reach with the sander or areas near the wire tape lines where the sander may cause damage. Once the truck bed has been prepped, sand the tailgate. Be sure to get inside all the contours of the tailgate. Continue around until the entire surface has been scuffed and don't forget to sand the access cover. Again, hand sand difficult reach areas. Finally, using compressed air, blow all the small particles that may be hiding in the recessed area of the truck bed. Wipe down the bed with denatured alcohol and a clean rag to ensure the strongest possible bond between the bed and liner. Remember, you should be wearing safety gloves and a dual cartridge respirator during this process. Alternate between the sandpaper and the denatured alcohol to make sure the entire bed is properly scuffed. Perform the same procedure to the tailgate, making sure to wipe it down to remove any dust or debris. Insert roll tape into bolt and screw holes to ensure that they are not filled with material. You are now ready to spray the vehicle with Rhino Linings material, spraying the truck bed and tailgate. Make sure the access cover is in its position and raised up on blocks. Check your equipment, making sure it is in good working order. Make sure to check the pressure on the machine. Prior to spraying, it is important that you are wearing protective clothing as well as a full face mask and gloves during this procedure. Your gloves should fit properly and tight with your sleeves. Starting with the tailgate, spray several short blasts of the Rhino Linings material to coat the wire trim edges on the tailgate for a nice even coating. Spray the rest of the tailgate by applying smooth glossy layers with a 50% overlap to a proper build thickness. Now let's spray the truck. Step toward the back of the truck and apply a light layer of Rhino Linings material under the bed rail on each side of the vehicle. Spray the corners and sides of the truck. This is most easily done from the opposite side of the truck using a step stool. Next, coat the floor of the bed, then the top rail of the bulkhead closest to you. You will then repeat the last three steps on the other side of the truck bed. Move to the back of the truck box and coat the bulkhead in the backs of the wheel wells. Next, coat the floor again from the back of the truck. You want to start just in the front of the fender wells. This allows for even thickness over the entire floor of the bed. Check the thickness of the Rhino Linings material using your thickness gauge. Finally, 
Texture the bedside and bulkhead from the side of the truck using several short, quick blasts. It may take a few passes to get the texture just right. Texture the bedside and bulkhead again from the ground level. Always texture the floor last as it will have been textured quite a bit from the other areas and you will only have to touch it up to finish the truck. You now want to return to the tailgate. Make sure the axis cover is in its position and raised up on blocks. Texture the tailgate. Prior to unmasking the vehicle, it is always important to complete one last inspection. Look for inconsistent texture, glossy or thin spots, particularly under rails or stake pockets. Texture again if necessary. You are now ready to unmask the vehicle. Start by pulling your wire tape lines around the entire truck bed. Then remove all the masking paper and masking tape from the rails and tailgate. Remove the masking from the tailgate. Apply the Rhino Linings nameplate to the sidewall of the truck bed. This ensures you have installed an authentic Rhino Linings bed liner. Reinstall the tie downs and the hardware into the truck. Then install the tailgate. Remember to rehook the cables. Replace the access cover and secure it with the screws. You have just completed the Rhino Linings truck bed liner application video. For more information about joining the number one brand in the industry, please visit rhinolinings.com or call 1-800-422-2603.